Hello and welcome back my friends. Well, we made it. Winter solstice was just a couple days ago, so we're now officially in the winter gardening season, at least for some of us. Others may choose to essentially go dormant this time of year, allow the garden to rest, that can be a good thing. But as you see here, we've still got plenty of produce to harvest throughout these winter months. We've got this beautiful Washington Naval Orange here, loaded down with these ornamental fruits. And over here we've got this Valencia orange, which you can see the fruits are mainly still green. So when we planted, we did so intentionally with these two varieties so we could get a succession of harvest. First we get the Washington, later on we get the Valencia. That gives us several months of citrus harvest. So the whole purpose of today's video, I just wanted to reach out to some of the gardeners, the growers, or just any viewer really tuning into this video who may live in a colder climate. Perhaps where you live, it gets down even minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit and you don't see any potential, any possible way for you to grow plants like citrus in your garden. Well, I've got some good news for you. It's been proven, it's been shown that you, even if you live as far north as Canada or the Northern Peninsula of Maine, perhaps, you could be growing some of these delicious, nutritious crops, such as citrus, perhaps even some tropical species like banana or mango, by setting up a rather simple system. And yes, it does require an upfront investment, but over time, as I've spoken many times on this channel, when you grow your own foods and medicines and such in your yard, it is an investment and you get a return on that year after year. So there's a payback period. Now the system or the setup that I'm talking about today is known as geothermal technology, geothermal greenhouse. Now there's a man by the name of Russ Finch. He lives in Nebraska and he started a website called Greenhouse in the Snow. I'm going to leave those links below in the video description box. Go check it out. There's a lot of useful information and inspiration for you to obtain on that site. So Russ is a retired mailman and he came up with this geothermal greenhouse system. Now there's greenhouse kits that you can buy off of his site and set up yourself even. They're not that complicated. But what you need to do is start off by digging down four feet below grade. The second part to this setup is you're gonna trench down eight feet and you're gonna bury these large PVC pipes known as heat tubes. And what this is gonna do is pull some of the colder air. You're gonna have a small fan connected to these pipes. It's gonna pull it through these pipes buried underneath the ground and stabilize the temperature. Now, Russ Finch, he lives in an area where it can get down minus 35 degrees Fahrenheit, but he has a stable temperature in his greenhouse of 52 degrees Fahrenheit, allowing him to grow citrus and orange and lemons and flowers, all sorts of things. You're gonna to wanna to check this out. It is very inspirational. And it's gonna just show that where there's a will, there's a way. And you know, that's what it really boils down to. There's two types of people in this world. There's the ones who always find a reason why they can't do something. Then there's the can-do people who are always looking for solutions to whatever problems they're facing. They use ingenuity, they use problem solving, critical thinking to come up with ways to improve their life. So I don't wanna ramble on too much about how this setup works. I'd rather you just go and check it out yourself. Now, I have no affiliation with Russ. I've never even spoken to him actually, or any of the details that I'm gonna link below. But really, I just wanna bring it to your guys' attention and hopefully, if nothing else, inspire you to think outside the box. Perhaps you could take certain aspects of it and implement it in your design and make it so that you can begin to grow year round in your garden, in your zone, regardless of where you are, and start to produce more abundance in your life. You know, when the wife and I began growing our garden here on this particular piece of land, we started off with grass, weeds, lots of urban debris, urbanite, trash. And over the course of several years, we developed a food forest. It's one of the best decisions we've ever made in our life. You know, people often assume that we must spend hours and hours of labor out here to produce such abundance. It's just not the case. The time we do spend out here is time well spent. 
we love being out in the garden for many reasons but once we got this system established it pretty much takes care of itself one of the issues that we deal with here in our garden is drought every year practically we have rather severe drought we go many many months without any rainfall any water but rather than come up with an excuse why we're unable to grow it's too expensive we can't use this much water we started utilizing different techniques like mulching bringing in wood chips also growing more perennial plants that once they establish deeper root systems produce an abundance with very little water things like fruit trees so whether your issue is drought or severe cold weather throughout the winter season i just want to once again bring it to your attention where there's a will there is a way my friends <music>